Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. Dalai Lama? More like Delhi Lama. Am I right or am I right? That's so good. <laughs> uh, the cold shower streak is two days. Update next week. Oh, wow. Pop it one. Um, follow me on Letterboxd. Pop it one. Yes. Is that my name? Yeah, it, yeah, it was. Pop it uh, I asked Jordan to watch my favorite movie of all time and he gave it four and a half stars. Wow. wow. What Very movie? Good. A lot of suspense. Adaptation. Adaptation. Okay. Very good movie. Wow. So what other... Why'd you get into Letterboxd? Because Jackson said... Jackson told me to. We said that he should do it. It's so funny. Did you get Jordan's takes? Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I like I'm getting into movies now. So he's logged three movies yeah. and his ratings range from four stars to five stars. And f- They've all been good. They've all been Fic- good. Fictional movies you're getting into as well? Um. Yeah, well, okay. Here's the thing. I thought my... Allegedly, my favourite movie is Catch Me If You Can. Mm-hmm. I haven't watched it back yet. Allegedly, you said that. <laughs> Allegedly, but I fa- have you seen it? Yeah, I watched about- it because you said it was your favorite, and I was like, "Oh, I haven't really heard of it." Was it good? Good movie. It's pretty good. It's about this guy, con artist, who. So wait, you've seen it like ten years ago. I've heard you haven't rewatched describe- it, and you're going to describe no, it's a, it's it. It's a real story, I've right? Heard about, you it so this, many times. about this actual con artist, right? Just came out. <laughs> he was conning everyone. He didn't do all that stuff. Even better. <laughs> yeah, that makes it better, right? Yeah. It's crazy. The, the guy who the movie is based on, who's been on like TV shows, yeah. written books and stuff. He conned everyone <laughs> he to make a didn't, movie about him being a con artist. Do it. So he, he wasn't and a con that, artist. And that was well, he was. <laughs> and he was a con artist, but he didn't do any of the impressive shit he said he did. Now he's got a wow. whole movie about him. That's and he's insane. Done spe- he, do- he works for the FBI. He does all this shit. He was like a little con artist. Like, like he did, like in the show, he does lots of. He was amateur. Yeah, he did like some little things, so and he they, hella played it up. How'd they catch him? I think he just came out with they it. They could. I'm not even like sure. What, catch me if you can, and if you can't, I'll tell you. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> what? what? But he it just came out. I think. I guess so. he's been sitting so. on that for like 30 years, and he's like, someone's got to figure time. it out. And he's so like. You know, chuffed with himself. What do you call it? Chuffed. Stoked, stoked with himself. Chuffed. Yeah, yeah, you chuffed. want to be the one to reveal I that, right? I chuffed with myself a few times, but uh, you know, <laughs> it's like the evil villain is like, "Man, my plan was this." Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, they got to, they got to yeah, let gotta, it out. They got to just tell you their plan. So I thought that was insane, but I feel like that it almost makes it even better that it was it's, that was the con. You got to rewatch it and log it in Letterboxd. Yeah, I will. People will be following all up. your journey. See if it holds up. I want to I wanna give you like bad movies or like movies that I thought were bad, but other people do like to see your opinion. Oh, What's I, movie do you have, think I have one of those, Gladiator. I yeah. got to put that in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, you don't like you I'm thought give, it was bad. Yeah, I'm going to give that like a two and a half, I reckon. I can't. That's not bad. That's bad, isn't uh, it? Well, I don't think so. That means it was two average. Two and a half is average. Oh, but I don't think about it like that. Remember when Jordan gave every prime flavor a four and a half or a five? They were good, though. That's they what his is right now. As long good. as Jordan doesn't drink poison, he'll pretty much give it above a four. Yeah. Do you guys do 50 as average? Yeah, I'm sure. to. Uh, but when you look Jordan, at Rotten Tomatoes, that is, <laughs> 50 no, is not that. But isn't that, that's different. You either like it or you don't, isn't it, for Rotten Tomatoes? Oh, is that what's going on yeah. there? Yeah. Ooh. You either give it a yes or it's a no. It's kind of messed up my whole discombobulum. Or whatever that's why called. the IMDb scores are usually more around seven. And yeah, the Rotten Tomato scores are higher because you either like it or you didn't. It's a, like a common human fallacy to like think the average is about seven out of ten. Yeah, fair. Because like if you ask a person and they're just like, I, how rate your driving skills out of 10? They're like, I'm a I'm an okay driver. I, I give myself a seven. And it's like, no, you're an okay driver. Give yourself a five. I think it comes from the school and system. And what are you, by the way? Oh, I'm like a 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think it's in the school because at school, it's like under 50. Is it yeah, like 50%. 50 you're like, oh, that was, that was really bad. bad. And for in Australia, at least, like 70 is like good. That's why when people seven. give things like a 10 out of 10 or a five out of five, and I'm like, so you're telling me there was no room for improvement. You know mm. what I mean? Like you wouldn't have changed a single thing if you had all the power in the world. It's just like a bad take yeah. to give most things a perfect score. I would still stand by my rating, so. But Gladiator. Well, they're all movies you like, so those scores make sense. Bring it down to, I feel like you should just, yeah. Yeah, perfect. So what about those TikToks where people rape people out of 10? You guys yeah. seen them? No, I've like, seen, how, I've seen like, like, how hot do you think this person is out of I've ten? Seen <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're like, how hot is this person out of ten? And you'll never get less than a seven. Yeah, 
and because like first people rate themselves and then they show it to someone else they'll be like how hot do you think you are someone's like oh i think i'm about an eight and then they show it to the next person they're like he's a fucking five yeah people give themselves more than average because it's just a nice feeling to have it's kind of sad that we're wrong though yeah but it's also like i don't think i'd ever rate someone else less than a five out of ten of attractiveness oh. you just feel so mean so what am I then but technically no, half but of the people stranger, on the planet though? are less than well yeah well I don't want to rate yeah, I'm not doing if that you, so if you refuse to rate it means I'm below five no. not a good sign is it I'll only give people above if five I and I you, won't be rating you if I rate you I'm going to get asked to rate the other two guys and then that's just that's a bit of fun. It's a recipe for disaster. It's getting dangerous, dangerously um, close to the kind of red pill. Content. We'll do that on episode one hundred and one. What is a red pill? Mm. Okay, there's the whole like you know the Matrix. Yeah, there's a blue pill and the red Add pill. Add that to the list. I've Have seen you, that I've actually. I've seen that. I've seen. Yeah, that. the blue pill is like go back to living your happy go lucky life, and red pill is like be honest with the reality of the world. Mm, and so like people you're fat. Have stolen that idea and used it for them like being like i'm real with it you know what it means like i am a fool. Is that like the whole toxic masculinity it goes hand in hand stuff? but it's not always the same red pill i think the yeah. idea is good but then it gets hijacked by the toxic masculinity ah, funnily enough the matrix was like a metaphor for being trans trans yeah so the people that are like toxic masculine people i don't think it was i think it holds all of the themes but i don't no, think it, it was, was no, they said that the, the people who made it said i know but it was wachowski much brothers wachowski and now sisters but that was before they even knew so it held themes yeah, but I don't. It wasn't about that. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I think it's just like probably deep rooted in their minds. Maybe, maybe. No, because they said they were gonna make it that when they came into Matrix, they were actually a girl. But they were like, "Oh, I don't think the world's ready for that." Yeah, I remember seeing. There was one character that had that actually. I feel like the world would have been ready for that, depending on how they did it. Like they had the body swap in the Scooby Doo movie, and then Shaggy just goes, <laughs> "Oh, Scooby Doo really boobs. pushing yeah. the trend." <laughs> like, that was a, that was pretty. Sick. No, I mean, but like, forward. yeah, Neo could just come out as a girl, and he's like, "Wow, I got boobs," <laughs> and then no one would think twice about <laughs> yeah, it. Oh, 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 oh. It was not the <laughs> time to be yeah. obvious about it. Though. It depends on how you do it, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're like, oh, this is true. gender identity politics. You're like, oh. Back then, it'd be no, like, oh, you couldn't. No, you couldn't do that back yeah. then. But, but then you could go, "Oh, boobies, nice." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, should I tell you what we got? Yeah, give us. We a got rundown. a bit going on this coming story. up today. Episode eighty nine. We're getting dangerously close to episode one hundred. We are. What's happening then? We, we got Jackson Jordan. was going to do a philosophy talk. He said that. Oh, did I? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. We got Jordan's all of his questions of the week at my philosophy what essay? Yeah, or all my speech? questions of the you week that didn't make. Bash it. every philosopher or something. I can't oh, remember. Great. I was going to take acid. What? <laughs> and you won't, uh, maybe. Anyway, right. We need a stinger for this. What's coming up like that? What's coming up uh, on uh, the pod? No, no, it's going to be like really cinematic, like oh. the intro. You know, it was like, coming up today on the Underdogs Podcast. <laughs> starting off with... What's the deal with... Uh, uh, Papa One Question of the Week? Followed <laughs> by... <laughs> oh, sorry. Do I do one by one? Zach, uh, <laughs> disconnect you know, your fucking... Uh, and then we got. What does that say? Go get it! Don't just sit there! Oh, Lucid Dreaming Update. We got a Lucid Dreaming Update. Lucid Dreaming. Lucid Dreaming Update. So that'll be good. So that'll be good. Lucid Dreaming. Uh, and then next is going to be. Uh, Probably after that, I think we'll do Lifelong Inc. So part five. Check the no, we don't. And, um, and after Lifelong Inc. part five, uh, it'll be over underdogs. All right. All right. So sounds great. Right. I'm glad everyone's paying attention. Let's I'm just going to mute it. everyone else's mic in editing. <laughs> Jackson, what's our best segment out of that? Let's jump to it because we've gone to it. Well, shit Lucid start. Dreaming Update, pretty fire. No, probably no. over underdogs. It's a good segment. Yeah, yeah let's yeah, get yeah, straight yeah. into uh, a little game here. What's wrong with Lifelong Inc.? Anyway. Uh, over underdogs. <laughs> Let's get into it. We need a stinger for that. You've had your chance. <laughs> well, so you this guys is when we have to guess. Something. Yeah. So I give you a question. For example, how many underdogs are in the underdogs? Four. And then you say four, and then Zach says over or under. Peter says over or under. If Jordan splits the group, he gets a point. And if you are the two guessing over under, you get a point if you're correct. And if I get it exact like that, you get two. Two points. At least. Three. Yep. So this round or this week is fruit and vegetable themed. Oh. Oh. We were just talking about our favorite fruits earlier. That's, should we go? Yeah, that was from Jackson was asking, asking. Was yeah, it wasn't just conversation. Can we, should we briefly let everyone know? Mine's blueberries. 
Banana. Mango. Oh, mango's a good one. Plum. Oh, plum, plum is a weird one. Plum is All a right. crazy one. Don't shit is on it? someone for their taste in fruit. No, I can. I'm yucking his yum. I'm, I'm bringing back yucking someone's yum. I thought you were not doing yum. Oh, no, you're right. I'm bringing you back. I'm bringing it back. Mm-hmm. Plums yuck. are sour. Fuck them. Um, not if you get good ones. <laughs> All right. Don't yuck his plum. <laughs> Who wants to start? <laughs> Me. Carrot is my favorite. You fucking what? Oh, <laughs> my God. Reggie Miller is underrated in the chat, so Carrot is their favorite. Carrot meal. is good. I and think Carrot is no longer really underrated. It's, it's not fruit a- or vegetable. Oh, okay. But the you fact that like you nah. can buy a kilo of them for like one dollar, fuck. That makes I wish better, carrot was my favorite because I would, something. I would be fucking. I'd never turn on a light again in my life, bro. Tell you what, hard. though, little roasted carrots, a bit of honey on. Mwah, yeah, honey roasted carrots are good. Okay, ready? Yeah. yeah. I do love it with a bit of hummus. Anyway, yeah, now I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> are we ready? Anyone else want to interject anything fucking pointless before we start? <laughs> All as right. a kid, I used to have them as a snack. I'd just peel them and just oh, eat them. That's pretty good. Zach, any <laughs> thoughts? Uh, celery. Great. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Jordan, raw broccoli is what percentage water? <laughs> to the nearest <laughs> <Don't> one. <laughs> to the nearest one. To um, the nearest percent. But yeah, correct. What percentage water? All you got to do water. is split up. So I am 60? Or something around there. We're not helping you. And I feel like I'm not much water. I feel like broccoli's more water than me, so I'm going to give it a 75. Zach? (sighs) Seems like the sort of thing that would be over, but broccoli's not that juicy, so I'm going to go under. It's almost certainly over, and I'm going to die on the hill. All right. So, Jordan, you got a point. Congratulations. And Peter also got a point. Damn. What is it? Can I guess? Yes. Uh, Nine. 88. 89. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Should there that be bonus good. points if you get the thing right? You get to have a go at the number. New rule. Sure. Oh. For it's a bonus good. point. Well, then what I don't understand is how can that be 89? Then how much is like a real juicy fruit? Oh, they're like, like 95. Orange. orange is like 95. Like you're water, like 60, 70. Watermelon is like That's crazy. fucked. Isn't like, it 99 It's or so close yeah. to 100. Yeah, I know celery's like 99. Yeah, fucking fruit are juicy as shit. Yeah, wow. Juicy, juicy. Uh, per 100 grams, I'm assuming. I didn't write this down, Zachary. Sorry, sorry. Can I just interject before we do this? Yes. You say like, I think I'm pretty dry. It's like the outside of an orange looks pretty dry. If I cut into you, you'd be pretty fucking wet. No, but I know I got bones as well. Yeah, but you got a lot of fucking and muscles. Oranges don't have bones. Muscles actually mostly water. Though, yeah, so. I know. But we're, I, think we're, I think we're wetter than you might think. The man split the group. you got to respect it. I'm, so I'm always wetter than you might think. <laughs> That's my secret. Number of carbohydrates my... in broccoli, Zach, to the nearest decimal place. Number of... In how much? In 100 grams, oh, per- I'm assuming. Is that percentage? Okay. Uh, nah. How many... Ca- how much broccoli? He said 100 grams. 100 grams. Are you sure? No. <laughs> it's part of the game is you got to play my game. Okay. Same many... with the feet question. Infamous over carbs. underdogs. I'm going to say 96. <laughs> under. We do under. Wait, so what is the thing? There's protein, there's carbs. Oh, wait, no, you can have grams of water. Yes. Can I change my answer? Uh, wait, you said 96 grams of carbs. I was thinking percent. Under. <laughs> can I think per- Like, I was thinking I percent. I think we should just make him stick with it. I reckon. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Okay. No point. Kind of ruins your game, though. No, no, it's funny. It's content. <laughs> uh, you both guessed under, so you both get to have a go. Oh. So how many grams of carbs? In what, sorry? In 100 grams, <laughs> allegedly. We oh, think. broccoli. <laughs> All I wrote was number of carbs in broccoli. That's a stupid fucking Oh, my question. God. I don't know how carbs even work. I'm just going to say 10. I don't know. Yeah. How can it be if there's water that there's 89%? No, wait, carbs. yeah, less, less, less. Four. No, I, I'm going to go with nine. It can't be percent. Yeah, I know. Your question sucks. It's 11.6. Did you say number of carbs in broccoli? Yeah. Technically, that would mean the number of carbohydrate molecules in which I would be closest because it's like millions. Just Everyone gets a there. point for that question yeah, and questions. I lose a point. How <laughs> <laughs> many carbs in broccoli? All right. For the last question of round one, Peter, how many types of pumpkin are there? Four. Um, it's pumpkin. Damn. Types. <laughs> Types. Um, to the nearest one. 
33 under. Sure. No, nah, there's got to be more different types of pumpkins than oh, that. Oh, there's lots of Think apples. Think of the crosses. No, you already said it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what we over. did through this dessert. Right, you split the group. I'll say over. You get a point. Over is correct. Want to have a go? Oh, I'm going to go with 74. Oh, they're halfway there. It's 150 <laughs> times yeah, a day. Wow. Man, that's a lot of pumpkins. I, I knew that'd be something stupid, but I didn't think that'd be that oh, many. Wow. Um, what are the different types? I don't know. List them all. <laughs> I feel like they kind of nailed it with the Kent pump. How many carbs are in a I pumpkin? I know there's butternut, there's Jaredale, and mm. that's all the ones they sell at Woolworths. <laughs> but like there's the Halloween one. That's a different what about type Kent? of pumpkin. Kent, did I no, say? No, Kent, you said Jaredale. I thought I said three no. types. Kent, butternut. Someone said Kent. Oh, he said I Kent. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway. so there are three pumpkin experts here. <laughs> I listed off. Yeah. Okay. So, how, what's the so score the update? Podcast where we list I off think pumpkin I'm on types and discuss. You remember, on. everyone got one for my question. Unrivaled two? audio entertainment, you're on by two? the way. You're on one? Yeah, no, no two. two, two. Thank and you're two, on three. three. Ooh. Uh, we'll stick with single points. Yeah, good goal. Jordan, <laughs> the number of tons of bananas that India produces. To the nearest decimal place. Would they have bananas in India? They have to. (laughs) Tons. Tons. I love this. He's like, zero. (laughs) It's the wrong climate. (laughs) I was thinking. Could be. be. I need a decimal place. No, they do. If you would like to. Number of tons. Yeah. How many times have you seen an Indian person eating a banana? That's a good point. (laughs) I've not. I don't remember seeing that. I don't have any in memory. It's not something I would keep as a notable thing to the decimal place. So I'll be 0.0. Slumdog millionaire. Don't remember any banana trees. Uh, I'm going to go with... <laughs> How many fucking times? I don't know. You say, you say to the decimal? <laughs> All yeah. of Jordan's knowledge of Indian culture is slumdog millionaire. <laughs> what do you mean? You could go through an entire Australian or American or English movie with no banana trees. In, in Mission Impossible, <laughs> I don't remember when Tom Cruise pulled out a banana, so I don't think any American has ever eaten a they've banana. They've never made bananas there. <laughs> what, you got, yeah. what are you going to How else are you supposed to know? Just guess. You only know what you know. <laughs> this is a and if I've game. only seen India in Slumdog Millionaire, that's all I know. <laughs> That's all I just know. Just lock in zero and How be done with it. I'm supposed to know. I'm going to say... <laughs> You're not supposed to know. That's why it's a game. 500,000. 500,000 tons. No, that's all right. Yeah. I'll go with that. Okay. 500,000 tons. He was asking for a decimal. <laughs> 500,000.8 Wait, is this bananas or banana trees? Banana bananas. Tons. tons of bananas. Tons of bananas. They don't the trees. Produce. Of bananas. How do you weigh the trees? At $3 per kilo. <laughs> I'm going to go with... Okay, to the decimal and point. It, and if he's a millionaire, $3 a kilo. Um, okay. In a year? Yeah. 100,000.5. Oh, good call. 100,000.5 tons. Yeah. To the death Jackson <laughs> was very shocked at 500,000, so I'm going to go under still. I'm going to go over. It's got to be it like produce is heavy. But I don't know if they do much in India. Jackson nearly spat out his yeah. teeth. And he is why. Teeth. Well, do you have a guess? I think it's way more or way less. I, think it's I went more. with less. Yeah, you get to have a guess. Less is correct. Oh, Ooh. let's go uh, 10,000 tons. 30.5 tons. That's wrong. 30. It's got to be like 30.5 million tons. I'm saying this they don't do incorrect. much in India. They don't. They, oh, yeah, it is 30.5 million tons. Yes. Wait, really? No yeah. shit. No. So what I've done there is got it wrong on purpose for the bit. <laughs> so actually. Point, that's why you're asking for the decimal. I'm like, what the fuck is he cooking? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, produce is heavy. Like, wait, so. I was over, so I, I get the group. Got a I got a point. That is John get a point. <laughs> and Jackson being like, 500,000. I was like, I know that stupid? screwed me as well. I blow in my head. Then I started thinking about it. I was well, like, I yeah, she's done it. I didn't see really any when I watched Slumdog Millionaires. You're a bad judge. You've got to be neutral face. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so. Well, what do you know about India? I feel like I got stitched up on that. No, I don't know. I was just going exactly. by Jackson's I mean, it's, it's like a tropical climate in like some parts, so there's got to be lots of bananas. And that's true. Moving on? Yeah. Yeah, moving on. I'm on three points. It's another production one in, in the world. Okay. okay. Do you have the units this yeah, time? Yeah, I have a correct <laughs> written down with a correct thing. All right. We don't need a decimal place. Okay. In 2020, Blueberry World Production was how many tons? Oh, hopefully a lot. And it's Can we... a... Should I give him how many digits the number is or let him fly? Just say how many in, I don't know, thousands or millions oh, or yeah. billions. How many thousand? All right. 
So as you guys know, I like blueberries. Yeah. How many thousand watt tons? <laughs> tons is the okay. world produced in 2020. So let's do some maths. I eat an average of one punnet of blueberries per day. Yep. Which so is how, how heavy is the punnet? 200 grams? Uh, no, 125 grams. Okay. Times by seven is like, what, a kilo a week? It's, I mean, times, times by, by eight, fi- eight would be a kilo. 52 kilos a week per person multiplied by the fact that I'm a very... <laughs> I'm a big lover of blueberries. Most people would have about a quarter of that. So that's 12.5 kilograms per person per times year. 7 billion is, uh, I believe, 70 billion. That's surely not right. Oh, divided by tons. 70 million. Yeah, kil- 70 million. 70 million tons. Under. He did ask for in thousands. I did ask for He did. Thousands. That's why I went for the in under. In thousands of the what? So you're saying 70 million, so you're saying in thousands, that'd be 70,000 thousands. Oh, I fucked it. Never mind. <laughs> go with under. Yeah, I'll go with under. <laughs> Wait, in the world. After all that I maths, guess they weigh less than bananas. And you eat a lot more blueberries. Was than 2020 you? was COVID as well? Yeah. I wonder if that affected the number. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> 850,000. All right. So way less than so even Zach was India's off by about a magnitude of ten. I but think. That's wait, good. I was talking about a million grams. Were no. we in grams? Or? <laughs> Shut up, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not a good day for me. For me in this game. One more for this round before it goes to double points. So don't yeah. worry, everyone turns it around. Double okay, points. Brilliant. <laughs> this question. In twenty twenty three, Delish, which is a website, posted. Awesome. X amount of Brussels sprout recipes even haters will like. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to go with 101. No, less, less. It's less. Less. I am a hater though. It is less. Do either of you want to have a go? I'm going to go with... 13. Oh, that's good. It's all. It's never an even number. Yeah, they like that's to be one a bit thing fancy. I've It's always like a nine or a seventeen or a. I don't think you can think of more recipes than nine. I'll stick with nine. Forty-three. Oh, oh wow! All right. it, at least it lot. wasn't an even number. <laughs> <laughs> that's right about most one important. Thing. <laughs> all right, so double points. What's the score update, everyone? I I'm, think I'm on five, but I'm not. I'm on sure. four. I'm on five. I was. If I split you guys, I was on the perfect score, but Ooh. I lost it on that last one. I am on negative two. All right. <laughs> 101 recipes from Brussels Well, 43. Sprouts. It's like, I, I yeah. think you, if you Google that, you could find an infinite number. 43 is a lot. Jordan. Yep. To the nearest decimal place. To make two cups of mango lassie, you need how many mangoes? <laughs> to one decimal place. Yeah, one. Yep. Yeah. We should two cups of mango lassie. <laughs> yeah. Wait. What is a mango lassie? You know the that dog part of- that's like... Yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah. thinking. <laughs> to make a, a version of that. A mango yeah, sculpture it's like of a lassie. Statue, yeah. Oh, okay. So that, uh, a mango lassie, a mystery object. It's a drink. How many cups yeah. of mango? No. No, huh? how many mangoes? To, to make, make two, two cups. cups of mango lassie, which is a drink. Could you have said. divided the number by two and said how many mangoes to make one cup of mango lassie? We don't want to do that. Okay. It's going to be a lot of mangoes. I'm going to say... <laughs> 20 2 point wait there's a decimal yeah oh I fucked it you can cook you know, uh, cook but no let one, him cook let him no, cook no, well, you know, you know, you're not making the drink and then you get to 22 and then you're like ah half it's gotta be a lower if decimals are coming into play so I'm gonna say like well so he gets to change his answer well, he, he didn't finish I didn't finish I didn't oh. f- 2 point why, why the point? It's got to be a point five. Come on. Go from two. 22 point something to <laughs> two point something. 2.5. More. Two cups. I'm going to say less. I, bet, I think Jordan's can I, close. Can I say why I think more? Yep. I have a body wash that is strawberry <laughs> flavored. And it says on the packet like 8,000 strawberries why used to make decibel? this one thing of body wash. So I reckon they're getting some kind of extract from the mango. And why did you lock in your What's the decibel? Of less. Yeah. <clears throat> How are you going to fit an entire mango in a cup? And there's got to be something else like milk or water in nah, there. No, I reckon they get the shit parts of the mangoes and then they like extract something from it to make this mango less. Because I, mean, I never had, heard I've of had, it. I've had it before in oh, like Southeast fucked. Asia. But I could be wrong. I think Jordan's close, but I could be wrong. It's 1.0. Yes. I tricked you with oh. decimal places. Oh. <laughs> and that's a point for me. Back to negative so one. So you get well two cups of mango lassi from one mango. Uh, yeah. That's efficient. Wow. So that's a mango lassi, Jordan. You learned. What did I say? Like 8,000? 8,000. <laughs> 8, <000. laughs> no, but it's strawberries are smaller than mangoes. You're so that's making okay. a lot yeah, of mango yeah, yeah. lassies. And I think they might be using some kind of strawberry extract. This is probably like a whole yeah, mango. There's also a mint um, 
version of that body wash, 20,000 mint leaves. Fuck, th- whoever makes these is fucking it up. Yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can't be doing it right, surely. They're like, all right, I've got 20,000 mint leaves. What are we going to make? And they're like, one, one body tiny wash. body wash. Yeah, Like, I this is a it. good fucking business model. Like, <laughs> what? And it's too, co- it's too cold. You know how mint makes your mouth like... Oh, does it burn your nutsack? Yes. <laughs> Dude, oh, really? I tried this body wash is a risky yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maddie likes it, but then like I tried. Oh, she doesn't have a ball sack, does she? Wash my balls with it once, and it was stung. Yeah. Just stung. A mint. Yeah. Right. Twenty. It was like you look icy. At it, the construction freezing. chain. Someone's getting fucked. Yeah. At the at yeah. The, someone's at siphoning ten thousand mint <laughs> somewhere in that bro. Siphoning fucking nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine. No, I reckon they Mint's take a pretty like, strong flavor. <laughs> Yeah, they true. You put like two mint leaves literally. or something. You know about it. Yeah, I know. Dude, 20, I you knew about so it. twenty thousand. Imagine rubbing twenty thousand on your nutsack. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So two There's points for Jordan. Someone in saying mint body wash can damage your skin. Oh no. I'm sure oh. that this one is no, okay. I feel like I've heard that too because I used to use it, and then I heard that it was bad for your skin. Mm. Anyway, All right, well maybe Zach will check that one out. Uh, watch your testicles. Right. Two points for Jordan because he did split the group. Why do I get two? Because it's double points. Oh, oh wait, points. I got it. You got it wrong. Shit. <laughs> nice try, though. <laughs> you got it right. I got two points as well. <laughs> so we're both on seven. <clears throat> yep. Zach's on four. He's on four. But you can still win, Zach. Can I have a point for the knowledge I provided? It was about my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to encourage this kind of behavior. <laughs> Definitely not. Right. A 200 millimeter strawberry tree costs what at Bunnings? <laughs> How oh. many dollars? Okay, to the nearest so, dollar. We can reverse extrapolate this from my strawberry body wash. Because <laughs> You're reverse we can figure extrapolating out the value. Well. you well the first time. <laughs> so if I buy that for $5 and there's 8,000 strawberries in it, it means each strawberry is pretty cheap. So even if you have a tree with unlimited strawberries, how much was it? 200 millimeters? Yeah. So 20, 20 centimeters, centimeters tall. Tall tree. 20 centimeters tall, tall from Bunnings. That's cheap as shit. I reckon that's $14. It's a good guess. That is a good guess. I'm going to go with under, but I think you're pretty close. I'm also going under. Yep. Yep. Give me the split the group. Come on, Joy. <laughs> I'm close. <laughs> well, I think under. I forgot. This doesn't really happen ever, <gasps> he got but it. it's over. So I think Zach gets two points. No, that's not how it works. He got split no. the group. But he was the closest. You guys were both wrong. No, yeah. That's how the game works. Ooh, well, Jackson's it's a good made point. the game and I'm losing. This has this. happened before in one of the I don't think it has. It's definitely. How have we I don't think that's that. ever happened. I'm sick. That's a triple point yeah. scenario. Yeah. <laughs> triple point. And everyone's on seven points. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. In the I'm, newly instated rules and the newly instated triple points, it's a suddenly <laughs> anyone can win. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you don't want no one to get points, so closest answer gets how points. How much were they? That had to be 20 close. bucks. 20. Yeah. One for each centimeter. <laughs> Who's lost? <laughs> so what are you, Jordan? $15? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Pomegranate. According to Wikipedia, there's a range of number of seeds that could be in them. What is a pomegranate? Oh, uh, Jordan's fucked. <laughs> what is the max number of seeds that they list? When we had pomegranate. <laughs> Fuck, they're When so we went to that lunch... And it was in the salad, and there was a little tiny, oh, little ball, the little red ball, little yes. sweet treat ball. That is each seed, little red balls. That's a seed. That's and it comes in something maybe the size of a grapefruit. All right, thanks for the knowledge. Yeah, you need it. Well, you're about to answer anyway. I don't want to win unjustly. So, what is the max number of seeds they think? Maximum. To <laughs> let you know, the range started at two hundred. Damn. And it went up to this number. <laughs> I'll go with six hundred. Wait, 200 is the lowest amount of seeds yeah. in a pomegranate? It said is a range. For example, one to five seeds, and I gave him the one, and he's guessing the five. But that's not the numbers. I'm yeah. too complicated yeah, yeah, yeah. for, for a How bit. How many points am I on? So two Everyone's on seven. seven. We're all on seven. By some miracle. The unprecedented oh, triple yeah. points. We made a rule and made triple points. Peter said 600. I'm going to say over. I reckon there's a freak out there. And it's got seeds everywhere. <laughs> freak. <laughs> the freak. Oh, so I can't win. I can either tie with Peter. No, if you, you get under, or tie oh yeah, with yeah, yeah. I mean, then it'll I just wouldn't be, be complaining guess. about not being able to win. You I'll came from under. nowhere. Yeah, I'll go under. <laughs> I think it might be like 550 or something. So you split the group? Yeah. Split the group. So Peter is Peter's. guaranteed a win. Who will he be sharing the win with? Who do you think you're sharing the win with? I think it might be over. I was thinking over, but then I thought I should go under as like a play. Mm. Yeah, that's a good play. 
It's fourteen hundred. Wow! Oh, so that's a, a freak. That's a freak. It's a freak. A freak I never deserve to be on the podium anyway. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> 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 Were you still there? We get it. I, I feel like oh, yeah, I have to research you. a tiebreaker. You're still for a these negative two. one, aren't you, Jackson? Yeah, yeah. So are you beat me still? <laughs> yeah, go on. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. All right, we, we have cut to give you a bit. Okay, what we're going to do, Zach, is I'm going to give you the question and you're going to answer and they're going to go over under until we have a winner. I've got a yeah. list. Oh, Whoa. great. And if I get it, if I get a spot battle. on, I win. You win the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, that's the golden yeah, snitch. Yeah, the golden snitch. <laughs> yeah, perfect. All right, so I'm going to give you a fruit and you tell me how many grams per cup of fiber it has. Yeah, grams per cup. cup. Grams yeah. per cup. A cup is 250 grams, yeah. just okay. so we know. Yeah, in Australia. Raspberries. Damn it. If it was avocado, I knew it was 22. Fiber. Raspberries and fiber. I have actually been... See, this was just a question I had. So I've been Googling what has the most fiber. Don't remember seeing raspberries. So I'm going to go low. low. Per cup, there's quite a bit. Is it soluble or insoluble? Doesn't say. That's the okay. question. Say enough. <laughs> 3.9. Over. Over. Nah. You're both correct. <laughs> this is why you're on the podium. Are they, the podium. Are they high fiber? <laughs> They're eight. Damn. I was thinking around 10. I think it's just because they wouldn't be a good source of fiber because you can only have so little of them. They're fucking expensive. Mm. A mango. Oh, we're going? We keep going until we split this group. Oh, right. Well, do you need a lot of fiber for a mango lassie or what? <laughs> now, mango seems very fibrous. I'm going to go 12. That's so good. Who went first last time? <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I think Jordan went first. Oh, last so time. you have to go first. I'll go over. That might be a go I'll go finish. over. I'm going to go under. I'm going I'm to I'm do split it. Split the group. I'm, yeah. Yeah. What what did you guess? Twelve. 12. Has to be close to twelve. It's five. Whoa, oh. Jordan wins. Oh. I was there thinking because it's more juicy. And so a raspberry has skin and there's probably fibre in the skin. True. And that's what was my best. So not, not a bad the crowd point. agrees. Yeah. You eat like the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. So there you go. Jordan, Ooh. congratulations. Thank you. Zach could not grab the golden snitch. All right, well you didn't need to <laughs> <laughs> He knows. <laughs> okay, so that knocks off. Mom. It's a pretty hard thing to, to go Being a nutritionist. Zach, you come off clutch. a loss, but I'd love to get Shut you back on a win. Up, Jordan. <laughs> Shut wait, up, Jordan. Shut up, Jordan. Wait, wait. To the Hang on, this is a good segue here. Oh. Zach, you've had a tough loss, but I'd love to give you a win. Give us a lucid dreaming update. There's no update. All right, well, let's uh, try a different segue then. Do you want to do a new segue? Because we're just clearly cutting yeah. that one out. Damn, Petey, you just lost, but I'll give you a win. Give us Lifelong Inc. Part 5. Oh, I'm so excited for Lifelong Inc. Part 5 because I remember that all four parts have currently been left into the podcast. That's and now you're the first on. one to have, have Lifelong Inc. more parts? Yeah, no, I give you an update on my experience with having a tattoo. Ooh. It's true what they say. You do just want to get more afterwards. It's pretty exciting. And What's it's your just, next one? I'm thinking I saw this really cool artist who's going to be in Perth this month and next month who does the really sick stuff with like reptiles. So maybe mm. a snake because they do s- like the, the scales mm. that look cool. Anyway, that's not, that's not the point of this crawling episode. crawling out of your butt crack. All right. This is why I don't talk to you about this. What uh, an update. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That'd be so I mentioned this to our friend, Courtney, who's been in your videos before because yeah. I was seeing her yesterday. And she had a great idea for the underdog paw print group tattoo. Oh no. What we is can do- Is it not getting it? That is a great idea. That is a oh, yeah. Yeah. She said, Why she said cancel yeah. that. Yeah. Think about the underdog's paw print. Right thinking. It's right here actually. It's right there. It's right next to us. Uh, about the four audio, listeners. audio listeners, describe it, Jordan. It's a uh, paw print. It's a, oh, sorry, Peter. No, he's too good. took my limelight. It is his segment. <laughs> yeah, but, now, how many toes are on this? Four. four. How many of us well, are no, there? Yeah, there? I've are tried four. this in Photoshop. Is it putting each one of our faces as the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why are you trying that on Photoshop? Well, we were trying to come what up with of like... tasteless tattoos do you think I want? No, we were trying to come up with I a logo for the... I do not want Jordan's face on my ass. <laughs> you were doing this actually. on your ass? <laughs> no, no, probably not. But anyway, I don't want it anywhere for the record. Oh. Is it because he's done doggy style? There's a paw print on his ass. I guess you would be receiving that. Anyway, I liked this segment more when I was doing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> so much well, I was happened. just going to say why I photoshopped our faces onto the paw print, or we don't want to know. For the uh, logo of the podcast? It's better as a mystery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a mystery. Anyway, that's the answer. <laughs> anyway, so I was thinking that we could each have, our, or each of ours be unique by having one finger filled in. If we wanted. So they're all unique and they all kind of complete each other for the fucking boys. Can we get it on a really like some like loose, almost see-through bit of skin so we can like, you know how you put a them loose, all- loose, almost see-through bit of skin. Yeah, you have yeah, any yeah. of those? <laughs> Bear with me. Well, yeah, now like your eyelids. I've what been using mean? this mint body wash on my, my scrotum. are falling off. <laughs> 
<laughs> My scrotum's been worn thin. <laughs> it's see through. <laughs> You can see the little men swimming around. <laughs> right. Nah, no, I was just thinking like, you know how you line things up on a projector, the like clear sheets? Yeah. And they like put them on top oh, of each yeah, other? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be cool. So we all like get our scrotums and- Oh, what if we got it on a place that we always get sunburnt? And then when the skin peels- Oh, you really don't want a tattoo to get sunburnt. Really? Yeah, it's, it's bad for it. It makes it fade real quick. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah, I wouldn't reckon- You have to like put sunscreen on it if you- So not worth us all getting sunburned so we can layer our skin on yeah. top of each other. <laughs> oh, very, so it peels off and then you slap them all on top of each other. Yeah. Yeah. We get an overhead of your projector. Tattoo. You don't want your tattoo anymore? Just keep getting sunburned. Freeze. Jordan, we know Free how that goes. Removal. Jordan, don't yeah, do don't that. do that, Jordan. Well, Bad for, advice. For people who, oh, who people who don't get burnt, they wouldn't get burnt. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> anyway, it's good so, to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the next revolution. So have more tattoo for our tattoo we don't want. No, but it'll just be an outline. It won't be like solid black. The whole thing is an outline except for the one one toe. You would get this one colored in, and wow. we can we can like see who we can. We'll try and work out who wants each one. Yeah, well, let's do it with the little piggies. You guys know that? You do it on people's I, I, toes? I haven't done it as a way of <laughs> like, settling arguments. So no. it's like this little piggy went to the market. That's the first one, the big toe. So which one of us what was is that most design? likely to go to the market? This is probably the biggest bite I've ever had on Life on Ink, so I'm going to go with it, even though it sounds fucking insane. Yes, yeah, Zach, I have heard of that. What yeah. are you talking about? So you, know, who's, you know the piggy. Yeah, the game. Like, yeah. This little piggy went to market. So so we yeah, now we have to figure out who's going to go to the market. <laughs> yeah. I buy produce in the market sometimes. Oh, you go to the market most. You're the little I don't think I would ever go to the market. I would not go to the market. Do you go to the market? No, no, no. no Jackson's fucking. <laughs> no, but now I'm getting <laughs> little piggy. Wait, we're getting the song? We're going to get copyright yeah. striked. Which one of us is most likely to go wee, wee, wee all the way home? Well, well, Jordan pisses Jackson himself well. sometimes. What? Oh. I poo myself. Oh, <laughs> <sorry. laughs> Wait, guys. Okay, so Jordan goes poo, poo, poo all the way home. So he can't be the last one. Right, so I'm going to the market. No, no. Jordan's pooing himself. No, no, Zach no, went no. to bed for a while. I, He's wee, wee, wee Zach all the way home. Zach got to read the ball. Oh. Let's Can read I about. read the nursery rhyme? Yeah. So okay. it's, this little piggy went to the market. This is starting at the big toe. Unsettled. This little piggy stayed home. Because when ja I thought of that, Jackson's it's got to be the Jackson. second one. So I'm the second one? Yeah. Stay You're home. this irregular shape. This oh, one. Oh, wow. So who's going to the market? Well, we can work that. We can see who's left over there. Okay. This little piggy had roast beef. Who likes roast? I like roast beef a lot. Oh, you'll be a roast beef. And this then. little piggy had none. I think I would say I'm the nun because I'm trying to eat less and you guys are all kind of bold. So you're, a bit more. I have been to you're markets. Had, you're having no roast beef. Peter's having roast beef. I'm staying home. And, and Jordan's, Jordan's going at the market. markets. I've been to markets. Holly likes the markets. See, we would have been arguing along. for hours about which paw print toe we would have been. Yeah. But we've already got it sorted. Wow, this is staying. Wow. This is good. So I'm number three. <laughs> and then no one cried all the way home. And oh, then yeah, it says, they go, we, 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 Maybe they changed it. Maybe they changed it. Brackets, tickle baby by running your fingers up her leg. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> yeah, my mum did that to me. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, anyone cry all the way home ever? That's weird. It's not that's weird. It's weird your mum did that. I don't think I've cried all the way home. Yeah, I don't think anybody... There's only four toes, so... Yeah. Yeah, otherwise someone's get a weird fifth toe. Because, like, you, well, they do. It's like their thumb, but it's way off screen. So it's, like, down the bottom. Oh, yeah, like dogs have yeah. a little thumb. Uh, no one's a vegetarian, are they? No, why, why Jackson you sometimes. Used to be? Sometimes, because then you could have been the nun for the roast bit. No, but, no, but I stay home. home. He, that's Jackson number yeah. two is given. Mm. I think I, that's the only one that makes the, the most strongest sense. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, there you go. It was right, so part five. Should I book it in or? <laughs> no, I think yet. we're not decided on which toes which, so we'll probably just have to. <laughs> no, work. I'm pretty sure that was quite unanimous decision. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Stop later. crossing lifelong ink off. You motherfucker. Over on the Whoa. Um. I do like lifelong ink. We don't often get the chance to just very forcefully say no to Peter. Yeah. I'm like, like, ideas are usually quite good, but you guys don't <laughs> like these ones. We usually unanimously agree on Peter's ideas. No, no, but like... Nah, not unanimously. You, you can be stubborn sometimes. A lot of the time it's because you are right in like... Oh, yeah. Things. And when I'm wrong, it's terrible like, for me. Yeah, but it's like you can't force us <laughs> to get... The downfall of being stubborn. <laughs> yeah. You can't force us to get tattoos. So it's more like you're going like, come on, guys, instead of being like, do this. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll find a way to force you. Don't worry. Do this. I'll work it out. Maybe on Lifeling like part like a hundred, we'll we'll actually get it. Can we get the zinger? Just for for the pop one question of the week. Of Ooh. course we can. Wow. No, that's no, a wow you've with been a lot of reviews lately. lately. No, it's, it's a, a fun. Fun. Oh, man. It's so I got the wrong honestly, page. It's been bad lately. <laughs> it's the Bobble one. The Bobble one question of the week. That was. Was that the acapella or my headphones messed up? Oh, your headphones messed up. It worked perfectly. Grim. You know you meant to just say the question. Uh, ah. Like, we'll do it again. <laughs> I sure don't want to use that. It's the Bobbit One question of the week. How would you die 
if you were like a caveman? Like what would be your, your fault that you kind of have or thing about you in, in life that you, it would just lead you to dying? As oh, a like me as a person? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can we do a clip of the, it's the puppet one question of the week and then how would you die? <laughs> just that. <laughs> there, was a little, there was a little pause. <laughs> yeah, that was so a funny. funny phrasing there. Um, so funny, I didn't hear the rest of the question. Because I feel like, explain? if I've, you were a caveman in the wild, what would be your cause of death? You don't really get to choose. It's like, what do you think? Like, like personality like trait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like yeah. individual. Because I feel like for me, like, you know, I like smash, but I like competitive. I'm kind of drawn to competitiveness. Yep. You would fight And something. fighting. Even though I'm a weak, puny human, which <laughs> it's fine for the modern day society where we mm. have some Smash Bros fisticuffs going so on. So is it an alternative version of me that's a caveman or it's me literally being transported back to caveman times? Ooh, that's a great question. I, haven't well, I think that. you'd Maybe. fuck everyone up if you were transported back now. You got I some don't think you knowledge. Would. What were you going to fuck? What are you going to use knowledge nah. for? What? Uh, you use your knowledge and I'll be like 100 yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll kilos be stronger. Cavemen. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we'll be cavemen and you, you what would you say? <laughs> nah, I thought it would be more of a- <laughs> Like Zach could craft a more powerful weapon, you know what I mean? Like how? Yeah. What do you mean how? He just knows, he knows <laughs> where all the I'd, good ideas are. I'd punch a tree, then I'd use that to mine some cobblestone <laughs> yeah, like, and then I'd make a sword. I don't think he would He would be resourceful enough More than them. Surely you can make a spear and then- I like, think they got spears. I, I think, think I, as a caveman, would be able to make a spear before him, even if he has yeah. knowledge. Yeah, you don't know what cavemen were capable of. Cavemen with spears. I know that I think, I feel then very confident worse. that a caveman would be better at making a spear than Zach would be. No, Me but they, they would be better at the task, but they wouldn't know the strats. What Zach strats? doesn't know Does the Zach strats. Know. Zach, what are your, what are your spear oh, strats? I, don't, I think you underestimate the assumed knowledge you have as a modern human. I think if it was me transported back as I am now, yeah. I would just die of boredom. <laughs> Sounds really fucking bad. Not because you'd start starving in that. Yeah, true. It probably takes like a month for your f- brain to go back to caveman times. Because we haven't evolved that much. We've just like got phones. Exciting. Wait, so which one is it? Is it me as a caveman or <sighs> me literally me? That's a good... Maybe you as a caveman. Because right. I feel like I'd be like, ooh, yeah, that, I'm going to fight and then I would just die. I think, yeah. I think I would try and like tame an animal that cannot be tamed and it would kill me. Like a bear mm. or a big cat or like something. I'd be like, <laughs> I will make it hunt for me and I'll try and pet it and then it'll kill me. And we'd all be like, Peter, no. <laughs> you do it anyway. He, he's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many animals do you reckon they tried it with? Taming? Yeah. <laughs> Cats and dogs? I think it's something else. Yeah, so oh, like, God. Um, seven. Seven. What, right. are the first, <laughs> what are the first five then before cats and dogs? Cows? Yeah. You want to pet cows. Ooh. Foxes? Yeah, too small. I suppose that's kind of a dog. It's like the poor no, man's dog. No, they don't dog. really listen. It's like a shit dog. Yeah, shit dog. Um, Actually, it's kind of the perfect pet. It's a cross between cats and dogs. I've one aided completely on the fox. I think yeah. they just don't listen, do they? Do they? they have like the energy of a dog, but the, the mind of a cat. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> Cut that out. I was thinking about if Zach could make a good fucking medieval weapon as a caveman. I'd tune that out. It yeah. must have been something insane. And I reckon Zach could make a primitive crossbow. Yeah, no. I think I'd be pretty... With what? Yeah. With like, you'd find the most like elastic... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. That's the best. That's the nicest thing Peter's ever said to no, me. You, I'm you running with it. You'd find something that's shot. like springy. And I, it'd be a shitty crossbow. Like, yeah, I've built some... And I would just run him down uh, being no, bigger I, than you get shot with a crossbow. He would not be able to make a crossbow. I used to do them little, like, science boxes you get as kids, and it's like you make your own little elastic, like, slingshotty catapult thing. Did it I give you a, we, we as modern humans, we understand, like, mechanics of engineering yeah. much better than they did. And it even the, like, the least advanced in our common society would know a lot about it compared to them. I could build a fucking house. You just got to find stones and make an arch. Like, you got to remember that people... Like bow and arrow is just better. People built the pyramid without the invention of the fucking wheel. The fact that Zach knows about wheels means that he has leaps and bounds ahead of a lot of these people. Yeah, you know but the wheel's like, not going to matter in a fight. That's just an example! And I reckon yeah, bows... I go away. Zach's crossbow is going to be dog shit compared to just a bow. No, I go away yeah. and I come, back, yeah, I come back with a car. Some of them do. Oh, you got a car? <laughs> well, I didn't know you had a car. Is it a Tesla as well? Yeah, nah, it's like a wooden car with wooden wheels. Oh, like Flintstone and you yeah. run with your feet. Yeah, I'm Flintstoning the so fuck out of these So you're going to run me over. Men. I was wrong. Yeah. Okay, Zach would die. If he's using Flintstones <laughs> as a primary source, I think he's fucked. I guess how far are we going back? Because I'm thinking they, they have bows, but Peter's well, saying no Well, I'd probably no use bows. my pet dinosaur to attack you. Oh, yeah. and then you run away in your Flintstone of, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. which would give me a lot of power in a fight. My yeah. trained T-Rex. Ooh, so I'm good. Like, I won't wait, be dying. Surely we we answer the question though. 
That would be like nice. how would I actually think I would die? Yeah, so Peter's let's trying to tame be honest, animals. I wouldn't make a crossbow and I wouldn't make a car. I think a superiority complex is how you would die. <laughs> yeah, oh, I was saying T Rex. What you? What are you saying? You'd try to like get an elephant. Yeah, to be like the best. I think I would probably probably die of a disease. Actually, really, if I'm honest, I don't think I would die because I am. I, I feel like I'm What's pretty. Your, like Peter's saying that because it's like he likes animals and then that kills him. What is your, <laughs> what, what what is your really trait? Have... What is your trait? Can I can I make a point? Yeah, yeah. I think I wouldn't die. Oh, that's smart. Whoa. I would Maybe die. No, 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 no. <laughs> I would die of natural causes. Don't worry, it gets worse. I'm okay. not just talking myself up uh, because I'm very afraid of death. So I wouldn't contribute to like the clan and like I, I don't oh. want to go hunting because I'll get. I'll get attacked. Oh. So I wouldn't contribute mm. and then I'd either get like put out on the streets and die that way or they would somehow hold on to me and I'd strike out with every cave woman. Uh, so you just die <laughs> a lonely caveman virgin. <laughs> yeah, the lineagens. <laughs> They'd kick you out. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been Thanks trying to bang banishment. all of our wives. Yeah. You've got to get out of here. Wow. Uh, but if I came back with a car, <laughs> I'd be like, whoa. Probably just, yeah, starvation. Because I already don't eat enough. Oh, and imagine if it was actually good. difficult. That's a good one. Yeah, if there was anything more than walking to the fridge, it's <laughs> I over. I the fridge and I'm like, oh, forget this shit. <laughs> you have to like kill some kind of bison. And, and then I'd like, probably oh, be like, I'm I don't not. feel like bison. Yeah, I'm Jackson just keep literally eating these berries. <laughs> works at the supermarket. <laughs> yeah. the, the mecca of food. Yeah. And he still doesn't eat enough. That yeah. probably would happen. Like malnutrition. You'll probably just eat only berries over and over. Yeah, I like berries. Yeah. Or maybe I'd eat the wrong berry. Maybe you're desensitized Ooh. to the supermarket. That's why you don't eat. You know, like you're always surrounded by so many options so that you open it. your oh. fridge and it's underwhelming rather That's than like... That's true. Whoa. You know, like if I go to the fridge, I might be like, whoa, so many options. <laughs> yeah, because Maddie's been shopping in before. You're only <laughs> looking at like the bachelor fridge just empty. I'll have you know that I do my own shopping because wow. I eat the same thing every single day. Wow. Didn't you see his TED talk? Yeah. It's just definitely coming out before this. Um, well, so there you uh, go. in summary, starvation. What was yours? Uh, getting kicked out of the clan. Getting kicked out. What was yours? Trying Fighting to, someone. Like, fight an animal. Yeah. Taming an animal. I, I think we got there. Chat is saying that they had wheels. I'm literally Googled it. Who had Motherfuckers. Wheels? The, the Great Pyramid of Giza, each with an average weight of over two tons, didn't have wheels when they built the pyramids. They only had stone and copper tools. So, so you can't move it. No, but they, like, they, they could have like rolled it on logs, but a wheel is like where it's on an axle. Like They knew things rolled. You know, know they, they weren't invented a wheel but yet. The wheel wasn't invented yet, like in their area at least. Maybe someone like else. Did. Other I don't bricks know. held heavy as well. Two tons. Two tons. So even Gosh. a wheel, like what wheel would you even build? I, yeah, they. It looks like it was. They don't know how the they top, built it. Man. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. They just didn't put it in any of their records because they didn't want people finding out. Ooh, secret wheel. What knowledge. if they had cranes? I still don't know how they built the pyramids. It's fucked. It's There's pretty fucked. No way they did all oh, that. Oh, is this like a conspiracy sort yeah, of thing? No they one had knows. Yeah. Is it a bit as aliens yeah, come maybe, up in this maybe conspiracy theory? Yeah, 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 many yeah, times. It feels alien. Yeah, have you seen that meme where it's like the, the people making the pyramids, pyramids and they're like, we will be remembered for the end of time for this great architecture. And then it like cuts to modern day. It's like, I reckon aliens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh man, I've it, seen, that's so funny. I've seen a good post that's like similar conspiracy and it's just like, it's like the pyramids and then it has an x-ray view of like, 10 times the length underground and it's like uh, they're all obelisks and it's like it's <laughs> just been buried by the sand that would be cool yeah oh. that would be cool so like they used we're to just be looking like at the top 10 times higher we're just looking at the tip like an iceberg situation yeah, yeah like burying yourself in sand and and leaving the head out yeah i wasn't gonna say head damn it's a mystery the, the old egyptians Dig. They liked art too much. But apparently the pyramids are like perfectly, the coordinates line up with the circumference of the earth or some crazy I mean, the, the, shit. If you're going to spend that long building something that big, you're going to make it in the right spot. Well, but that's why people think aliens. Because it's like, uh, how did the Egyptians even know? What are they point they to still a star thought or cats something? were gods. What they're are they point to? Cats are cats. <laughs> Silly Egyptians. What if they're right? They could be right. Imagine if cats are Like gods. we think God is God. We could I be don't. wrong. I don't yeah, even know yeah, what that is. I guess you've ascended. More of a statement You're more wrong, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, there you go. That was probably one question of the week. Wow. Got us thinking about Egyptians. That was there a good you go. one. <laughs> had nothing to do with Egypt. But yeah, just had me <laughs> fighting chat about wheels. Um, t- you know what time it is? Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce our supporting act tonight. Oh, no. It's Jordan <laughs> Ridley. Ridley. 
He's funny. I like him. Hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? Oh, he's got confidence this week. Uh, um, today we got, a, we got a great lineup. If you check his haircut, it's Do a great lineup. He's, he's got a nice fresh haircut. You have good crowd work. Um, I love hearing crowd work. Um, I'm trying to look at both of you. Slim pickings. I'm hoping something pops into my head. Uh, What's that you got to watch on? Yeah. <laughs> they just ask me what I do for a living, man. No, but we always do that. No, no, yeah. You what do you do like, who are you here today with? Who? who? <sighs> start again. Start again. Here's if Jordan you Lee. had to eat dinner with anyone, who would it be? <laughs> are you asking me? <laughs> to the crowd. Oh, uh, yeah. Just call out. Oh, to the crowd. To the crowd. Uh, Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson. <laughs> 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 what, what, would you, what, would you, what would you learn from him? He, like, he, what, he punched people in the head and then he went to jail for, what, sexual assault? So what are you, what are you talking about? He likes <laughs> bento boxes because he boxes. He likes bent over boxes. <laughs> <laughs> no, cut that out. All right. Uh, bring yeah. Peter out. Or you want to do me? <laughs> I'm no, moving on. No, it's Bill Gates. Carson, Bill I, Gates. I love your podcast. Please don't beat me up. Anyway, Peter. No, that's the shittest intro. Okay. Hey, hey, everyone. I hope you guys are feeling in a lively, darby mood because that was quite the quite the warm up and such a welcoming intro from our Jordan. So anyway, what's the deal with Facebook? Because I, I don't mean just regular Facebook. I mean old Facebook and. You know, like we have, you hear about the wild, wild west, right? The wild, wild west, the the untamed frontier. We experienced the untamed frontier of social media. And I think we've all kind of forgotten about what it was like, mm. but it was fucking crazy. I, 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 let me just remind you of the concept of posting on somebody's wall. Do you guys, do you guys remember posting on somebody's wall? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Actually, I didn't have Facebook until I left high school. All right. Well, that's great. I did. Can you imagine today if... You went onto someone's Instagram. Fuck, those guys are loving it. You went onto someone's Instagram and you could just post photos on their Instagram profile. What the fuck was with that? <laughs> <laughs> do you guys... Do you, yeah, does, it, does anyone not remember this? Yeah. Wait, are we meant to be interacting? I don't know. It's awkward doing it's a stand-up <laughs> into three people in the room <laughs> with nobody laughing. All right. No, all right. right. You, you look laughing. back at people that post on your wall and it's all cringe. Oh, it's, it's like a time capsule. Because I were reminded of this yesterday. Yo, wait, I saw this. It popped up. Jackson, you posted something on my Facebook. It said, Jordan Ridley for mayor. Eight years ago. <laughs> and that was it. And how <laughs> that opinion's like, changed, eh, Jack? I, I stand by it. Think about how curated everyone's social media is nowadays. You people have their feeds with their colour aesthetics and their sorted stories and their highlights. Imagine if you just had your random weird mate saying, you're the mayor, on your fucking Instagram profile. Uh, like, why, why was it like this? And, okay, okay, okay it, get, it gets more fun. Do you guys remember when on Facebook it would appear in people's news feeds when people became friends with each other? Yeah, yeah that was always good I content. Don't really. Fuck, it was fucking that hilarious was because good. your mate, you would, you're like year, year eight or nine, your mate would cl- tell you they like a girl and then you see popping up in your news feed that they become friends yeah. and the boys just get in there and start commenting. <laughs> fuck, the banter was unrivaled back in the day. Can you fucking imagine if it popped up and then everyone got to just mention, it's like, oh, you follow them on Instagram? The whole gang gets to like it. They get to say, oh, this is the one you've been telling me about. Am I right? <laughs> or like, invite me to the wedding. They should bring that back. Fuck, they early Facebook back. was fucked. And I think that we we walked so that social media could run. And I think we all kind of forgot about this phase in our life because it's so fucking cringe that we've always blocked it from our memories. Anyway, that was our early Facebook. Thanks, thanks guys. You guys have been great. Woo! I think they should bring that back. That was the, I, I I remember that now. That was funny as hell. That was fucked up. I I'd forgotten about it until yesterday. I was talking about it, and I was like, Re- "This really old Facebook is fucking hilarious." I think there was just there's just better content now. Oh, it's just because, okay. I also remembered that the reason you would post on someone's wall, which is insane to do in a public space, is because you got to message people when they weren't online. Mm, oh, there was no and messenger. So, yeah, there was there was there was like live chat. Yeah, yeah, You both yeah, had to yeah, be online yeah. to use it. So if you wanted to just leave someone a message for later, you had to post it in public. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. Like leaving a voicemail, but publicly. Yeah, it's just like you'd see on someone's wall for everyone to say, hey, you still coming to the beach tomorrow? You know what? People still do that sometimes on cares? Twitter. It's really frowned upon. If like someone doesn't reply to your DM yeah. and then you like tweet at them and you're like, 
Like reply to your DM, my DM. Just, I think <laughs> before, before everything was so public, it was fucked. Like it, w- before we worked out that there are some things that should be private and some things that we choose to show everyone, we just showed everyone everything. I and felt it's that not exists okay. more now. Yeah, me too. Now nah, people are way more curated now. With Twitter? Maybe. Probably just different ways, don't you think? Because like they have like private Twitters and like but private now, Instagrams but and then, circles and private like close friends on Instagram. But, but we so many people so many making videos yeah, and content, content like, like on TikTok. TikTok, like, here's what I did today. TikTok. Okay, here's a fucking crazy <laughs> no, exactly. one. Okay. Like, now, this will change your mind. Do you remember when people would just take a bunch of photos at a party and post it in a photo album yeah. Yeah. on their Facebook? Is that not a thing? No, but, like, they'd post, like, 50 photos yeah, 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 and it'd yeah, yeah, yeah. be all of them. It wouldn't just be, like, the They're, ones where their friends look nice. Yeah, you know what? Those were the days. They were fucking crazy We should times. go back. It's funny. You get, like, funny, like, all the shit photos of people. What is it you can do on Instagram? In the album same of 10, and you're not even going to post the ones that people look fucked up at? People are way more, yeah, curated But I now. feel like for the same thing, like, posting a video... Well, what do they say? A video is worth a thousand words. They don't say that. Uh, I think it's a thousand pictures. That's what I was going and for. And a picture is a thousand words. Yeah. It's a million. Wait, what if it's a video so math, under... Anyway, in if summary, it's a video under a certain amount of time, it literally wouldn't be a thousand pictures, though. But if it's... <laughs> yeah, go on. No, if it's a minute long video, right? That's yeah. more than 50 pictures. Is it? Easily. It's 30 times 60, which is 1,800. You're right. <laughs> What's the point? I think they post more now than they used to. People were more sharing. I used to just say like, Jackson. And it, you know, I would say like, what are you feeling? It was like, is going to the shops. Do you remember those yeah, statuses? Before it was like your name and then a status. It yeah. was your name and it just led into Literally the status. Said, like Jackson Cogger is thinking about... Yeah. Playing, yeah. Uh, looking at his fish tank later or something like that. <laughs> Do you still post stuff like that? Now? Yeah. No. Well, that's what you're saying that you'll, that you share more stuff. You don't share the No, but I'll put, a, I'll put a video up saying, gonna look like, I know I don't really do this so much these days, but people do, younger people in particular. Uh, they'll be like, oh, I'm gonna look at my fish tank later. Oh, here it is, by the way. I think they share it with their f- closer friends that it's a bit more like, choose who you show it to now. Yeah. Maybe it's just- I think so. Someone's saying it depends on the person. They're probably right. Some people sharing, the people that share probably share more and the average person probably shares less. Yeah. You're probably right. Wise. I just wanted, I just wanted to go remind you guys of how fucked early, early social media was because it was yeah. actually insane. What's the deal with, oh, what about MySpace though? I never had it. I never I had it either. Before my, time. before my time even. I had a MySpace, I had a Tumblr. Cat, oh, I had a Tumblr. What Cat is a Tumblr? Umbrella was mine. Not, no Tumblr for me. What is that? It's like, it's like, it's like almost like an image board one where you just like repost images more than anything. Ooh. And it's just the most cringe platform. I like literally just got Facebook the fandoms. so I could play Farmville. It's like the most millennial and cringe one of them all. Because it'd just be like reposting like Twilight and Harry Potter shit and yeah, right. fake deep stuff. Hi, I'm 14. This is deep type content. Oh, I love that stuff. That shit makes me laugh still. Crying in the rain so no one can see you cry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I, man, I, I wish it rained more. I see young people. I see young people on um social media all the time, and I just have to remind myself that I was worse. Oh yeah, yeah. you know, like when I was sixteen, I was like, I was much, much worse. Like these guys are all right. They're all right. Nah, they're yeah. The I worst. think everyone was way worse because you, you would like you wouldn't show it. You wouldn't this show is anything. What boomers say. <laughs> Oh, you mean like... No, we, like we were yeah, worse. Yeah. We were more cringe. More edgy or more cringe. More oh, yeah, we've that. gone the reverse of the boomers. What do they say? Like kids these days are so like yeah. bad. Kids these they days like, are so uh, good. Us those days was pretty bad. I wish I was as cool as the kids these days. Yeah, fuck. Uh, I reckon we were cooler. My thoughts. All right, boomer. Boomer. I'll cop that. Yeah, uh, I feel like do we have... Oh. I feel like, it's, <laughs> I feel like we're like, oh man, these kids are getting fucked. By the internet. 